This tutorial reviews the wizards available for spinal assessment in the AP or PA view. Choose from deformity procedures, hover over the spine and choose the planning icon. No templates are selected for this assessment procedure and choose the AP or lateral image, both just for demonstration purposes of scaling in this case, and open the x-rays. First, the lateral image, just to be aware that it's necessary to match the shape of curvature of the spine to that shown in the view of the lateral spine. Scale the image as normal and it's a marker. With the AP image, similarly, check the x-ray direction and scale using quick scale. The lateral image then will no longer be required for this demonstration and will be closed. Now working just with the AP image, each of the wizards has been pre-positioned just to aid with the speed of this video demonstration. This is the wizard set for the AP spine. You'll note that some vertebral bodies have been previously identified on the image to aid in the demonstration process. To begin with we have the Cobb Angle Wizard which automatically records whatever value is identified. It's possible to zoom in for placement and adjust the handles for the curvature of interest. The value will change and be recorded here in the planning results panel. Removing the Cobb Angle Wizard, we now look at the proximal thoracic Cobb. It's one of a set of three which identify specific points of curvature in the spine and they have a limited positional range. So for example this one from T1 to T3 and the lower section T2 to T6 depending on the curvature shown. It's important to identify the vertebra as other references are made from this area. Removing the proximal thoracic cob we move down to main thoracic and scrolling the image it's positioned between T4 and T12. Similarly, right click to identify and select the vertebra of interest. And in the third step, the thoracolumbar cob. All of the wizards here have been collated from the spinal deformity study group and some other resources. All angles are recorded here in the results panel. Now looking at the full spine view again we look at the second half of the wizard set beginning with balance wizard. This sits across S1 and C7 and gives you a value for compensation or decompensation depending on whether C7 is to the left in this case or to the right of S1. If the reference vertebral bodies have been previously identified and named, the balance wizard will automatically identify these points. Now looking at the apical translation wizard, it assesses the shift at the apical points of the scoliosis curve. And zooming into that area, we can see here that T11 and T7 have been selected as the vertebrae of interest. They also coincide with some of the other markers and their values of translation are recorded again depending on whether they are in a positive or a negative situation in relation to the S1 plumb line. Thoracic shift wizard also uses similar reference points with S1 being identified and the most lateral point of the rib cage on either side through the apical vertebra the thoracic shift is then measured by bisecting that line. The last two wizards Nashmo and Riser Grade are both slightly unusual wizards in the way they behave. To begin Nashmo relates to vertebral bodies that have already been identified and labelled. It needs this so it can record the information about grading. Once I've selected it the vertebral bodies change and zooming in we see that we now have a pale blue dotted line and a central line in order to visually assess the rotation of the pedicle towards the center line by right clicking on any body the Nashmo grade can be identified and this is then recorded on the planning results panel. Riser grade is the final wizard. The wizard is not visible when first selected. It allows segmentation 
around the iliac apophysis, depending on its maturity and its fusion to the ilium. Choose escape or double click to end the segmented line which is broken into four. This has been given a grade of five, however by right clicking any other grade can be set. It's also possible to reset the wizard if it's been difficult to position. This ends the spinal wizard set for the AP spine and it can be saved or committed depending on which wizards are visible when the save or commit is done these will then be shown in the saved image. This ends the tutorial on AP spine wizards.